Hey guys, welcome back to Bathroom Shenanigans Truck Edition for a story time Sunday. Oh, why do you want to start us off? I don't care. I can go first. It's not a big deal. Okay. I'll go first. Okay, so pretty much all my life. Now, before I get started with this, I was never a huge person on pot. I, you know, when I when I was younger, I thought it was the bee's knees, wanted to smoke pot all the time to be cool, but uh, as I got a little bit older, I realized it's just not all it's cut out to be, and I wasn't really a huge fan. Well, while that may be the same still to date for smoking it, even after I decided I would never smoke pot again, I still decided I wanted to one day try brownies and a, a while back you know I'm not going to give any time references or anything as to how old I was or whatever because <laughs> my mom watches these videos <laughs> um, I got my hands on some brownies and everybody's all around I ate my brownie and the guy, I know a guy, the guy who gave him to me said, said, uh, take about an hour to kick in. And I'm like, okay, you know, well, I'm sitting on my computer playing some games. And then I go to get off my computer and I'm like, huh, I kind of feel a little, like a little buzz. Almost like when you start drinking, uh, you get that little buzz going. That's kind of how it felt. And I was just like, okay, that's kind of nice. You know, if it's, this will be chill. Well, about five minutes later, shit hits the fan. I found myself on the floor laughing at myself because I was rolling around. And it felt like I was falling, but I wasn't falling. Oh, what else? There was something I said that I just died of laughter. What was you it? You said I was good with kids because I'm fat. <laughs> You ever that shit, bitch? No. Because <laughs> I was I was holding Scarlet and uh, I was singing to her. And I was just like, you know, <laughs> I was I was good. I'm good with your kids. And he's like, you think Omar's good with kids because he's fat? <laughs> and I start fucking dying. Liz started dying. Okay. Well, apparently I said that. So <laughs> uh, no, but there was something else. There was something... We were making fun of a homeboy. Which homeboy? Sid. Yeah. Oh, what did I say to him? What did I say? I don't know. I said something so funny. I think I could have laughed forever. I think everybody could have laughed forever. And I'm real upset. It's gone. It slipped my mind. Anyways, to carry on with this story. One of our buddies bails. He was supposed to be our ride to the Waffle House because everybody knows if you haven't been to Waffle House, drunk or stoned out of your mind, you are not an American. <laughs> uh, and he bails because, I don't know, he's a loser, I guess. And so the whole time we're sitting there trying to figure out where the hell he is, or at least Omar is, I'm sitting there rolling around on the floor giggling. <laughs> Yourself like a fucking twelve year old who just lost his virginity. It was it was a good time. It was a good time. And uh ten of ten would do again. Ten of ten. Ten of ten. I'm a hoot and a half. Alright, Omar, you're up. Uh I mean my story really isn't that interesting. It's uh I worked the other day, uh I had to stay uh, over. I usually get off at six. I had to stay until about eight thirty, and uh, cover somebody because they, uh, the person that comes in after me, uh, called in. So they called in her backup, and uh, her backup's like this Indian girl. Uh, you know, I'm not gonna say no names. But I'm gonna call her Smiley, because she has a, a smiley. For those who don't know, is a, a lip piercing inside. Uh, yeah. Uh. And, uh, I really don't find her attractive, but this girl just pulled it off, like, like, 10 out of 10, you know? Like... 10 out of 10. Yeah, but, uh, well, this dude walks in to the office, because I, I was helping her brush up on her, 
on what she had to do and shit because she hasn't done it in a while. But uh, I was, you know, here talking to her, flirting with her, and just messing around and shit. And uh, this dude walks in. Uh, he's he's like the the lift trainer and shit. And uh, and I was just like, as soon as he walks back out, because he kind of was trying to like flirt with her at the same time I was. But he walks out, and I was just going off on on this dude. I was like, this dude ain't shit. Like, the only reason this dude has this job is because his mom's a fucking supervisor, you know. <laughs> and uh, like seriously, like this dude would probably went through training for like three days, and then his fucking their lead quit, so her mom. His mom made him the uh, the supervisor lead, and um, but yeah, now he has a fucking floor training job where he trains all the fucking new people that come in, and he's only been there for like a year. So I was just talking mad shit on him, and this girl was just like blushing and and just like laughing along with me, you know. So I thought you know she was digging it, you know, flirting with me, and just back and forth, and then uh, so the next day I started talking to uh, my coworker and I was telling her the story. And she just fucking goes off. She's like, she has this face of, like, astonishment. Like, she's, like, freaking out. She's like, dude, do you not know them two are dating? (laughs) (laughs) So I just start dying, dude, because I was basically shit-talking her boyfriend the whole time. Get wrecked. And uh, I thought it was the funniest shit ever because she was kind of going along with me and messing around with me in front of her boyfriend and... Here I am just shit-talking him, not knowing who the fuck the dude is. Like, I didn't even know they were fucking together, dude, so... I thought that was great. Pretty funny. Well, that was pretty funny. That was a good story. That was a great story. I've been sitting over here trying to ponder and remember what I said to Sid. <laughs> oh, man, I remember the situation now. I was sitting on the chair, he said something, and I just blasted him. Like, it was nobody's fucking business. I just blasted him. I don't think it's going to come to me. I don't think I'll be able to say it. Um, I'm real upset. Uh, I think that's all we got in the line of stories today. Let me, let me cycle through my brain here. Normally people script out their videos. I just kind of roll with it. <laughs> By the way, I only have 68 subscribers. Please subscribe. Uh... <laughs> um, so if you're new to the channel, which you're probably not, if you are, make sure you go check out the rest of our videos. They're pretty funny. There's some highlighted ones that you should really check out. Like, uh, <coughs> uh, uh, I think it's episode six that involves teeters, a teeter and fireworks. You went way back. That's crazy. Yeah, uh, that's a pretty good one. Shit, the one we just made the other day with Teeter and Breast Milk was pretty good. He's pretty like gross. Our, our little test subject. Yeah, he'll do anything for free stuff. Usually free dinner, but yeah. Yeah. Um, make sure to punch that, li- that subscribe button. Uh, give this video a thumbs up. And leave a comment down below with some feedback. Please know. <laughs> um, and it's four in the morning, so I'm pretty tired. He just woke me up to make this video. So. Actually, it's almost five, but he's counting. So we're kind of groggy, so if we're off our game today, and not as funny. Or can I tell you the truth? I probably you probably hear the fucking heater over this. Somehow. I don't know. We'll have to listen to it. I guess I should have done a sound check. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> That's all we got for you guys today. Uh, so, this is us signing off. Peace.